5 things to pay attention to when you select a security camera or a security camera system consisting of multiple cams in the opinion of the people system store and myself daniel so when you can get your perfect camera system in our store and the list is as follows one cameras quantity slash data storing is our first item where we will discuss a storing matter how does camera's quantity affect video file size and how can you select the best storing option for your occasion? Next up is the installation place that greatly defines which type of the camera you need and which camera body form factor fits better in actually your occasion. The item number three is about how data transmission process is happening. Is it a wireless Wi-Fi or wired options and what are the things to pay attention to? Next thing is everything related to the image, video and its quality, night mode, infrared illumination, megapixels, focal length, and etc. And the last item on the list is about a power transmission to our cameras and the ways how you can arrange it. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. Cameras quantity and data storing. So, it's actually no secret that when you purchase a camera, you gotta think ahead and come up with how recordings from the camera will be stored. Of course, the more cameras you consider having in your setup, the better video quality you have in them, the bigger storage capacity you need. And there are three options. The microSD cards, video recorder with a hard drive in it, and the cloud storage. Modern cameras often have from up to 64 to up to 156 gigs of microSD capacity support and hard drive is considered to have capacity of 1 terabyte plus and more. The cloud storage depends on the subscription plan that you choose. It can be either monthly with 30 days of storing a continuous recording or any other plan that you choose and that affects the cost. So, why would you use a microSD cards option? Well, mostly if you want to store videos that was recorded on the event only, like on the event of spotting a motion. In this mode, when the camera will record videos only by the event occurred, it can hold out for quite a long period, about two or three weeks for a 256 gigs microSD. Well, depending on a scene intensity, of course. Though these numbers are exemplary. And if you want a continuous 24 by 7 recording, don't count on more than a week of video storing microSD. It may even be too much. And the video recorder with an IGDD is a great option due to that if you've got more than 3-4 cameras in your setup, it will be easier to manage them all in one place. Plus, with high capacity hard drive, you can count on days and weeks of recording of recording storing for a bunch of cameras. But again, it depends on your recording type, an event triggered or the continues. And the last option here is the cloud storing, frequently used and quite convenient actually. You don't worry about uh, any microSDs or HDDs and that the storage will soon overflow and exceed its capacity. You don't have to count anything. Pick a plan from a manufacturer based on your camera's quantity, their recording quality, and for how long you want your videos to be stored. And that's it. The installation place is, as mentioned, is what greatly defines the type and form factor of the security camera that you need. And it is divided to indoor and outdoor. And pushing from that, there are indoor and outdoor security cameras that differ by body structure and features based on this those body structure. So those features are IP ingress protection level or dust tightness and water resistance that are actually mandatory for an outdoor type security camera. Well, to protect the camera against dust, moisture, rain, snow and any other weather. And there is IK vandal resistance and it is about a protection against an impact applied to camera that ranges from level 0 to level 10 and 10 plus, equivalent to the impact force that the camera can withstand. So that's an advice. Outdoor camera is better to be installed where a man cannot reach it and harm it in any way, but IK level is not necessary. Your outdoor camera must have a good level of IP ingress protection. 
and not the body types for outdoor cameras. It can be metal, it can be plastic material, dome or bullet type body and there's actually a variety of uh, forms brought by a number of manufacturers, so that is no more actually that nar narrow. But there must be ingress protection and the indoor cameras though are not made in bullet type body, so uh, we can pretty much relate bullet type form with the outdoor cameras only. Indoor cams can be dome, can be round, square or whatever. They can be made from metal or plastic, it doesn't matter here, it's all about aesthetics. And they don't have to have any ingress protection level, but sometimes they may have IK vendor resistance if that's a camera to be installed in some public places. And there are home Wi-Fi type cameras that are still related with the um, indoor type, but with their specific features, we'll look into that further in the video. Now let's talk about how data transmission process is happening. And there are two options, wireless Wi-Fi, like for this camera, and wired coaxial for analog or twisted pair cables for network, there they are. And all of these options are applicable both to indoor and outdoor security cameras. Though here you have a split. If that's a coaxial cable, we're talking about the analog video surveillance, where video and audio uh, are transferred via coaxial cable to the video recorder. And we have twisted pair or LAN cable or UTP used for IP network-based cameras when video and audio are transferred via network and can be accessed from any other device connected to network like a PC, phone, and VR. Though, Every camera system nowadays supports a remote view and control, but of course, you need to ensure that you have a network in location with cameras. It can be either wired type, wireless Wi-Fi from a router or a 3G or 4G modem on spot. Though if your outdoor camera is wireless Wi-Fi type, make sure the connection is stable and better use a cable or both. And there are cameras like that, like this EasyVis C3WN, which is outdoor with a protected body support, body supported both wired and wireless connection types. Item number four is about the image quality in day and nighttime, video resolution, infrared emulation, and lens focal length. And to not go too deep, yeah, megapixels and recording resolution. So the more megapixels and consequently the higher the resolution, the more detailed image you get. Roughly speaking, uh, like 2 megapixels 1080p allows you to see good at a distance of up to 10 meters. 4 megapixels give you about uh, up to 20 meters and 8 megapixels is between 30 and 40 meters of a clear view. So it's about how far you want to see the image good and detailed. Very rough numbers though. Next parameter is the inline easy camera's lens focal length that defines the field of view and how detailed will look objects that are located on a bigger distance. And it starts from about 2.8 millimeters, let's, uh, that lens that gives you about 100 to 110 degrees field of view, which is considered a big view angle. Then it's 4 millimeters with around 80 to 85 degrees view angle. And next is, let's say, 6 millimeters with about 50 to 55 FOV. So the narrower your lens focal length is, less objects you see like around the camera with decreased view angle. But on a greater distance with narrow focal length, objects will be much more detailed because the focus will be on that objects that are far. Typically, you get 2.8 mm lens for indoor use and 3.6 and 4 and bigger for outdoor. And if you want to see the entire room, you need wide focal length. But if what matters is in objects on some distance away from the camera, well, you need narrower lens that will allow you to see details on a greater distance. And there also are a very focal lenses allowing us to change camera's focal length physically to switch between different view angles. Now, the parameter of night view is associated with infrared illumination. The infrared light LEDs is what allows the camera to see at night. Well, you know, this LED bulbs on camera's front, 
Ah, uh, there's... I, I get no use like now. So when it's getting dark, these lights turn on and act as a floodlight with infrared light invisible to our eyes. We get black and white image due to technology specifics. And in camera specifications, this is indicated with IR range, usually starting from 10 meters, which is normal for home cameras, and reaching up to a hundred and more for outdoor ones. And what I want to say here, depending on where you want to install your camera beforehand, try to estimate that area that you want to be visible at night and select the camera based on that. The last item I want to pay attention to is a power transmission to the camera. And well, of course, the regular, the le regular ones are a power adapter, a power over KXL cable and a power uh, for analog and a power over Ethernet cable for the network cameras. But they all mean a direct power transmission and also there is a battery powered cameras as well. But the option I want to bring up for your consideration is an uninterruptible power supply. A best fit for those who don't want to lose even a single hour of recording. And if you're frequently having issues with the electricity, that's a must-have for you. Or battery-powered cams are a great option as well. To sum up, you have just learned which things to pay attention to when purchasing a video surveillance camera. And well, yeah, the camera's specifications depend on the install location. The other important parameter is a storage for videos from your security camera. And then there were uh, image quality, megapixels, and camera's focal length to determine the detailed view angle. Range, yeah, their view range. And the area size that you want to cover with video surveillance that affects night view infrared illumination parameter. And in my opinion, these are the things you should pay attention to when selecting a video surveillance camera. And it's that simple. Contact us in the People System Store and we will help you select your perfect camera system, uh, camera or the system. <laughs> We've got network cameras, analog cameras, fluid light cams, cameras intended for night vision and many else. And if you indicate that you are a subscriber, we'll make a more interesting offer for you. Need help? Any questions, descriptions of your tasks? They are welcome in the comment section below the video. Thank you for watching.